All right, so uh, me and Steve are enormous fans of the video game known as Halo. Huge fans. Especially for me, it's all about the first trilogy, and I know you're fans of the. the I new just, ones, but I, I love it all. I think it's, I love. I obviously the original trilogy is like where my where my heart is. Yeah, I feel like the originals just wrapped up the story pretty perfectly. And then they made Halo 4, and they decided to rip off the ending to Banjo-Kazooie. So here's the thing. I was 11 when Halo Combat Evolved came out. And... Every single time I've played that game for how long has it been? 16, 17 years? Yeah, it was about, it came out in 2001. Jesus so Christ. 17 years. Oh my God. All you right. just hurt, you just felt us age. Like, <laughs> it's a part of the video. Jesus. I just saw Kevin, he's 30 now. <laughs> um, no, but every time I've played that game, I've always wondered, like, it's so inherently cinematic that it's like, this has to be able to turn into a movie one day. We don't have much time. And then I remembered that Alex Garland wrote a, a treatment. He wrote a screenplay. Yeah. From like 2008 or something. And it's really interesting. It's like very close to the source material. And it differs in all the ways that I imagined it would differ, which is like there's some plot holes in the game. Mm -hmm. Like uh, when they're in the control room and Cortana is like, you have to find keys, go. And then he's like, can I just take the chip out and bring you? And she's like, there's no time. <laughs> so like stuff like that is like altered. But the script doesn't work. It doesn't work because it's just a dumb generic action movie. Crackle Peels moving west. <laughs> But I've always been thinking, what's the emotional core of Halo? If it's gonna transfer to a movie, it can't just be look at the vehicles and look at the aliens and look at how cool that shit is, because that's, that's a given, that's gonna happen regardless. So I always knew that you had to add a character to Halo to be like the audience perspective and like mm -hmm. someone we can like relate to. And I think the answer, are you ready? I'm excited. This is the key to making a Halo movie, Steve. If I still had fingers, they'd be crossed. The emotional core of the Halo movie has to be Miranda Keys. I'm losing her. Right for impact! What if Miranda Keys was on the Pillar of Autumn with her father? as an officer on the ship. And half of the story is following Master Chief and his adventure with Cortana, and the other half of the story is from the perspective of Keys, his daughter Miranda, and Sergeant Johnson. And why is that a good idea, Steve? I'm gonna tell you why. Okay, it's a, it's a few reasons. Number one, Miranda plays an enormous part in the sequels, where she is as much of a hero as Master Chief is because she winds up essentially stopping the ring from igniting. Number two, she's the one character out of that whole bunch that I feel like is a bit malleable. Like you can fit her into, she can have her own arc that can be a little bit different from how she's portrayed in the games. Cause you can't really fuck with Master Chief cause he's like the straight man with no name guy, mm -hmm. right? Uh, Captain Keys is like stoic, stone faced, whatever. Sergeant Johnson is like borderline comic relief. Am I right, Marines? Sir, yes, sir! So if Miranda is kind of, if her, if the first movie is treated as somewhat of like an origin story for her, like how she becomes such a badass, but at the same time, the main, the emotional through line is that there's a father-daughter relationship in the story. Mm -hmm. Number three, it would be interesting pairing the Master Chief and Miranda together because they both actually have the same mom, kind of, which is Dr. Halsey. And that, of course, is Miranda's actual mother and Master Chief's 
and all of the other Spartans, like, creepy, adoptive, kidnappy mom. So, I feel like there's a way where that can kind of pop up in conversation a little bit, and you can get a little hint as to what Master Chief's backstory is, without explicitly showing it in flashbacks and ruining the, the kind of mystery of the character. Yeah. Well, the thing is, the thing is about, because people, people are going to listen to this and be like, well, Chief is, Chief is Halo. Like, but if you think about it, if you really, if you really understand, like, the point of it is Chief is this, now this doesn't have to be Halo 4, but like, let me, let me explain. Chief is the husk of a man, just like a war, just war is all he knows he knows he has to get the job done and like he's just been conditioned to like not be attached to anything or anyone because of who he is and what he has to do which is why by the way people are thinking why don't you just build up the chief cortana relationship in halo one because i don't think it's there yet i think that needs more time to develop so if you did anything beyond what's really in the game it's gonna seem forced because that took three games for that relationship to really go anywhere and I so, and can, also, Cortana is an exposition dump in the first Halo. Yeah, you know? I think you can fiddle with it, but I think you have. So you have the you have Chief, and then you have Miranda, and Miranda is all like her, all of her motives are personal, and all of Chief's motives are business. Yeah, and so you can like that's an interesting dichotomy, 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 <laughs> dichotomy, because you have like the human side of war, and then like. The robotic but still like human because master chief is human but he like can't even grapple with that our duty as soldiers is to protect humanity whatever the cost you say that like soldiers and humanity are two different things I mean, soldiers aren't machines we're just people Okay, so here's how I picture it going down. Miranda is on the bridge when Chief approaches Keys in the beginning. And then Keys sends Master Chief uh, to the escape pod with Cortana and also with Miranda to keep her safe because he knows that's her best chance at survival. And meanwhile, Keys is going to go down with the ship and draw off the Covenant from the escape pods. Mm -hmm. And so once the pod crashes, we immediately recognize that Miranda is like a more innocent character than everyone else and that she probably hasn't seen combat before and so we identify with her as a character the most. So they spend the beginning of the movie together and eventually rescue Captain Keys on the Truth and Reconciliation. Yeah. And so at that point Miranda goes off with her dad and Johnson and Chief goes off with Cortana to find the control room. And Basically, the whole thing would culminate in everyone meeting back up at the Pillar of Autumn. And the big change in the Alex Garland script, or one of them, is that Captain Keys doesn't die on the Truth and Reconciliation. Instead, he dies on the Pillar of Autumn. So, essentially what would happen is Miranda would find him there. um, Because they would get split up once the Flood starts attacking and killing everyone. So Miranda finds her dad there, and just like in the beginning of the ninth level when you have that, like, barricade in front of you, she's right there but can't reach him. And so as a last sacrifice, Keys tells her to let him go and kind of save herself. And so Miranda, Johnson, and Chief would all escape together on the Warthog run. And everything that happens in the movie would basically harden Miranda into the hero that she becomes later on Mm -hmm. and that's the end of the movie what i what i think i think that's a great idea by the way thanks i think it's a great i think it's perfect i feel like you and i would make completely different halo movies but i feel like your Mm -hmm. sense of film is like what that movie needs i'm trying to make it this like more dramatic epic thing that it should be because the script that they were going to go with which they almost went with would be dread it would be the dread remake Mm -hmm. and it would just turn it into like and i love that movie but it's like a dumb action movie yeah and i feel like halo needs like deserves to be more than that what i think halo it's like you can it's essentially what you can do with it 
is like it can be a commentary on war but subtle like a subtle commentary on war you have the idea you can like talk about the idea of sacrifice like he's having this pride feeling like he has to go down with the ship like you know he goes down with the ship in the beginning because he's like the captain and then in the end like he kind of does it to save his daughter like he kind of does in the beginning to save his daughter but he like he feels like he has to stay with the ship and then when he survives he takes another like he's like just such a military person Mm -hmm. and so it could be like a good especially if you had like a a three movies especially if you just blew it out and did a trilogy and like miranda had to essentially face what her father faced which was like growing up in the military and understanding like the the mission is more important than humanity and like maybe she does it differently and it could be like an interesting and also what that does by adding miranda to the picture like a picture they would have sort of like a distant relationship because they're all they have to act like they're all like i'm in command and blah 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 but it would open up keys to get a bit more emotion out of him subtle emotion but it would be there and there's a couple more things that have to be said you can't do a halo movie without martin o'donnell Oh yeah, or just, someone doing comp. You, got, no, those you gotta, in. you gotta have the like it's the fucking, music. It's integral. It's the music is like, th- it's like just as important as Master Chief. I'll yeah. say it. Like it's, it's half of the game is the music. Yeah, like the everyone remembers the music. You need that fucking dude. You yeah, don't get another dude to and do it. This leads me to point two. There was those short films that Neil Blomkamp made, which was like, here's my preview for what my version of the movie will be yeah. like. And it was this, like, gritty, shaky cam bullshit. That is not Halo. Do you know why? Why? Because you cannot put that with the music and say, this is cohesive. Yeah. If you think the Halo movie should be gritty, think about a grunt for five seconds. (laughs) That's like when you like just sit and think about shooting a grunt and the noise they make and how they walk around. And I'm like, it was a bit, yeah, this, this stinks. <laughs> like, that's what the grunts are. Yes, <clears throat> correct. But I really like that idea and I think you should pursue it. Thanks. Yeah, I think uh, you could say Miranda is the key to all of this. Okay, so we have to wrap up the. <laughs> <laughs>